You there, Guyanese youth between the ages of 18 to 30. You did it. You've graduated, and now you've got the job you've always wanted. You're ready to leave your parents' home because you're grown, and you don't have to take crap from nobody. But there's just one thing missing. Well, a brand new car, of course. Yes, the holy grail of adulthood. A vehicle is a status symbol. It means no more riding the bus for you, my friend. No, no, for you are now big time. But there's only one problem. Despite what you think, you've got no business buying one yet. Welcome back, culture fans. This is probably going to be my most controversial video yet. I mean, I already got a whole bunch of flack on it when I put it on Facebook, but it still needs to be said, so I don't care, I'm gonna say it anyway. If you are in your 20s, you're just starting out in the world, you have no business buying a car from the dealership. Because despite what you may believe, your personal car is not an asset. Well, why do I say that? Well, so according to Robert Kiyosaki in his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, an asset is something that puts money in your pocket. A car does not do this. A car costs you money every month. Now you might say, but George, the bank says my car is an asset. To that I say, oh no, my dear sweet child, for you are incorrect. The bank considers the loan you took out on that car as an asset to them. Because every month you are putting money into their pockets, just like a good little asset. In fact, as long as you are paying the bank, you don't even own this so-called asset you speak of. Don't believe me? Skip three payments and see if your asset will still be in your possession. <laughs> so let's say you want to buy a car for 2.5 million, right? Average car, nothing too fancy. If you put $800,000, that's a normal down payment, that leaves you with 1.7 million Guyana dollars to borrow from the bank to pay over a 24 month period or two years. So that's gonna come to about $80,000 a month for that time. And you know, that might be a bit of a sacrifice you tell yourself, but it's all worth it because you want it. But next, you have to worry about the other expenses you'll incur over that 24 month period. Insurance on your new car is probably going to be about $150,000. Tires, $40,000. Mechanical maintenance of all sorts, that's about $100,000. Cleaning and car washing, $24,000. And of course, the big one, gasoline. If you put just $6,000 of gas in your tank three times a month, that will come up to $432,000. Yes, almost a half a million in gas over the course of two years. So now this is not even an exhaustive list of the expenses because keep in mind, you have depreciation, which is about 20% when you drive the car off the lot and 15% per year after. Then you have tolls, you know, if you live on the other side of the river and of course bribes for, you know, if you're a terrible driver who doesn't mind a little police corruption, shame on you. But you know, this is Guyana, so I'm not gonna play dumb. Some of y'all just like to do that. When you add all these costs together, plus the interest of the car loan, you'll end up spending close to a million extra dollars. So meaning that that car is actually much more closer to $3.5 million in cost. I say all of this to tell you that if you can realistically raise 3.5 million Guyana dollars in such a relatively short span of time, you should instead just take that money and mortgage a rental property. For most home loans, you only need to provide about 10% down payment. So mortgage a two family home valued at 20 million, which is not bad already. You live upstairs, you rent the downstairs. The rent payments alone should be more than enough to pay the mortgage every month. So instead of paying a mortgage, you're now getting paid to live in your own home. I mean, how sweet is that? So then you can take the profit that you've made off of your rental property to then buy the car with that. Extra points if you can save it up and just buy it cash outright. You know how awesome that would feel? Yeah. I'll take this one. Well, all right. How much will you be putting as a down payment today? All of it.
So, you might be thinking, well, George, that's nice and all, but I still need a car. Well, if that's the case, just remember that most experts recommend that you never spend more than 20% of your monthly income on transportation. So if you make about 100,000 a month, your car payments shouldn't exceed 20,000 a month. Think about it for a second, because I know that sounds small, but think about it for a second. If a huge portion of your monthly income has to go to the car, then it really doesn't leave you with much space in your budget for, you know, just in case an emergency comes up or, you know, if you want to do anything else in your life besides pay for the privilege of owning a car. That is why I say that your personal car is not an asset. It is a transportation expense or a liability. And while it may be a necessary expense for some, for many young people just starting their journey to financial freedom, it's more beneficial to just hold on to your money and you know, make financial sacrifices to actually purchase assets and then buy a car with the profits from said assets. I'm not even going to ask for feedback because I'm pretty sure you all are already in the comments telling me why I'm wrong. But if you actually understood what I said and you think I'm right, I just want you to go and comment hashtag financial freedom. That way I also know that you made it to the end of this video. And also since you're here, how about you check us out on Facebook. And remember every Sunday is now hashtag Side Hustle Sunday. Each Sunday we'll be dropping ideas on how to make some extra legal money that does not involve joining a Ponzi scheme. Also, if you missed our last video, we shared 10 ways to make an extra 100 US dollars a month. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. And if you appreciate what we're doing, let us know by giving this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to our channel. Also hit that notification bell so you know when we've uploaded a new video. As always, you can find all the links I've mentioned in the video, including the sources I used in the description below. And finally, if you're taking steps towards financial freedom, you're doing it for the culture.